Yo, yo, what's up everyone? I decided to make another vlog today because I'm currently high as shit and scared and I feel like I'm gonna puke. So, and I have water, so I'm just taking a walk. And I decided to record a vlog about what it's like to be skinny, but like attractive in some way. Um, wanting to make music and videos and create content for people. But, where was I going with this? That, that's what I am. I'm describing myself, but in what way and in what context. <sighs> I have no idea. But anyway, it's clearly raining. And, I mean, people like the rain, right? People like the walk and talk. Do they not in the rain? Maybe we'll see a cool lightning strike. Either on camera, on me, or, you know, just over the horizon. Or it doesn't strike me, and it goes right in front of me of a cool vlog moment. And people make memes about it and laugh at my stupidity. For like, yo, why the fuck is you walking outside? Because I want to, okay? I do whatever I want. I don't give a fuck. <sighs> I don't care in that regard. I can't be working a nine to five my whole life. I gotta get a car. I wanna go see my girlfriend. I wanna make music. I want to make content. I mean, I can't have all that, can I? There's gotta be some limits to what I can do without hurting people. But there are other people that have done that impossible. And I see so much of myself in them that's mostly why I appeal to them, why I like them. Where it's just, like I relate to them more than the others that I can. So I like them, favor them more than other creators and people. Because I love content creation. I love making music. And it's something I want to do so bad, but I wanted to give love a try. So I met this girl and I'm dating her now and she's amazing. She's great. But if I were to in some way put my passions in front of her, that would definitely ruin the relationship. You can't have your cake eating it too, where you can be business but not business no you're just even if you weren't before and you suddenly got famous it suddenly becomes something that you want to chase a passion so you keep trying to beat your own expectations and your heart on yourself even though other people just compliment it and love it more than others and can relate with that i don't know i guess i just like a community of people that are so similar that's why I want to make a community with people like this because this is who they would appeal to. Because I mean, I'm funny in that regard. I'm absolutely hilarious in the way that I don't really tell like an average joke. I just make constant references to pop culture and say the most random out of nowhere stuff, but still bring it back to context, which makes you laugh makes you think differently it makes you like what the fuck i never thought of it like that or like dude you're fucking crazy but i love it and it's just like i'm hard to hate you can't hit me because if you do you'll look like an asshole so that's how i win i win in this regard i'm manipulative but in a good way right where like I just, I win. I win, but I want me to win more. I always want first place in life. I mean, don't we all? We all have gifts. And we all have passions. Why can't we make money off of that? I know that things are finite and that people are greedy, but it would benefit us more. 
and we would be happy whether that being a person just being with someone you get paid for that but how much right what would be the salary of wanting to do something else that unless you get lucky or you know marketing you might have to fight and fucking crawl your way up to at least something but it's not the greatest is it it makes you feel dry and fucking hollow I don't know I don't know where these thoughts come from but I know they come from me another part of me that is just so sad in such a profound way you can't help but laugh it's bullshit that I have to deal with this brain of mine I should take pride in who I am right I never change so what's the right amount of encouragement and you know bringing you down that's healthy for you there's no balance in life it's just indecisiveness people live longer and shorter lives than others because of their choices what's how they were born their DNA and just things didn't connect right somehow and there's a kid that was never born or a kid that was born but died you know stuff like that where it's just the universe is so random and what is this build I'm fucking working with I've been with myself for so long but I know nothing about myself how do I get to know myself when I judge myself and think I'm an idiot I feel like I'm an idiot for having dreams because I feel like because I'm told that I think I'm more talented than I actually am or that people will just laugh at it I want to be taken seriously but I don't know I'm cute but I'm not hot it's like oh he's cute yeah thanks but we like to be complimented right no I like to be called handsome it makes me feel less fucking stupid it's like oh he's handsome like, oh oh thank you Like, I'm called cute, and I'm called beautiful. But no. You're just in love with my mind, not me. You don't think we could work. And there's no way that they would be insecure, right? When I'm so me, that they think they don't deserve me. Because they would have to get to know me in order to like me to fall in love with me that's what it is but not a lot of girls give me chances it's usually the ones like me who are cute but kind of look funky and we're called handsome and pretty by other people but that put more pity and mercy on us like oh he's ugly he's ugly in what way in what way am I ugly so my fucked up teeth not my fault this is years and years of fucked up childhood right here I don't know I don't know what it is I just feel so different than everyone more different than the ones who are different than the one that were different before and will ever be what the fuck was god on when he made me like it's ridiculous i'm ridiculous 
I like when they take pity on me. So that doesn't even make me better. But there's a line I can't see between just hamming it up or faking it. Like, you know, just like playing it up, but then actually meaning it. It takes a lot to love me. My family fucking hated me. That was a disappointment to them. I'm scared of what they think of me now. Because they're unsure themselves. Like, you know, you can make your own choices. Why did my voice crack like that? Now people are going to call me out on that fucking comment. Be like, why did he voice crack there? It's like, because he's crying. Oh, wow, he's not a fucking male. What a fucking pussy. I'm a sigma male virgin piece of shit. And even the ones that had sex. Probably didn't get it by compassionate means. It's funny though, I hate people that fall in love with me. So I gotta deal with them and I also gotta deal with me. I'm still trying to focus on myself, but after a while I start to lose focus. I don't know. It's just life, you know? It's a never ending system I could have been born rich and nothing like this but I, I was given this wait check out the easy bitch nah but seriously though I ruined it I, ah. they're dirty it doesn't matter doesn't fucking matter. You want to know who my favorite content creator is now? Jerma. Because me and Jerma, we're so alike. It's so similar. It's, it's almost funny. It's even funnier. And we would think it's funny. I want to meet him. I want to stream with him. But I'd be scared because he's my fucking hero, dude. God, I love German. That dude is so fucking funny, dude. He's so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> Genuine laughter, German. You fucking earned it, dude. I hope that gave you some recognition that you're amazing, dude. I would, I would love to have your life. I was about to say I'd kill for it, but that's fucked up. I shouldn't, I shouldn't do that. Not because I'm trying to play it for a camera. It's just like, I'm not gonna kill people. Not really, no. My demon would rather fight me than other people. I don't know how long I'm going to be vlogging for. I want to keep going. So I will. I'll come back and then my friends will be like, bro, where'd you go? I'll be like, for a walk. I'm going to upload this. Spend all day up <laughs> uh, editing it. Ah, uh, sound like I'm going to cry. Why? You know, you know when you get so high that like, you think you're moving robotically? <laughs> like, what, like, what is this? Like, I'm not even... I'm not even meaning to do that. <laughs> Look. <laughs> so robotically, right?
someone else's, um, <laughs> I'm laughing quietly because I'm outside. <laughs> so conscious. And, uh, Sam, I move a body clean. And depending on how loud they laugh, I laugh too. Because <laughs> laughter is fucking infectious. I love it. That's why I love seeing it. Because it makes me feel good. But obviously, people love it when people laugh at their jokes. It's like, <laughs> you thought that was funny? Fine, fucking Lee. I don't know what my hair is doing anymore. Uh, I guess it just hit the rain. You think I'm handsome? Hope you do. It's to my girlfriend, not to anyone else. So like, fuck off. <laughs> She's mad. She's my girlfriend. <sighs> cheating, I don't, I fucking ain't cheating, I'm greedy. <laughs> She's mine, fuck you. <laughs> Hey. People probably think I look fucking crazy right now. I, I just started subconsciously walking home. Hold on. We're going this way now. This way. Like. <laughs> this way. This way. It's like Serva. It's my fucking robot. Right? Like a robot that just like finally gained sentience, <laughs> had a mental breakdown. Uh, I hit that fucking hit. I, I'm a robot, but it's very human way. <laughs> The world is it simulated my emotions. Are. It's like, why do you make that face? That's my normal fucking face. I do. It's hard to do facial expressions properly. I don't know. So a lot of people say I look uncanny. <laughs> You're scary. I'm just trying to be friendly. I'm trying to be nice. I feel like I need to be. Sometimes I feel like being mean, but why would I do that? Why would I be mean? <sighs> now I look fucking st now I think I look silly when I talk. Because my face is like falling. Like my cheekbones got heavier. <laughs> Perfect job, <laughs> by the way. Hold well, let me look at myself. Actually, though, okay, I look pretty good. I'm in, a, I'm in a very skinny body, though, for some reason. Like, God made me skinny and handsome. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Hello. Said hi to someone. An old lady. I don't know why I did. Join the rain? <laughs> I am too, that's why my hair is wet. Really? Don't get too wet. I'll try. See? Old people are generally nice to me because I'm like everyone's fucking grandson. So true. A scolding one, an angry one. <laughs> the fact that I work at a grocery store where I deal with grandmas and grandpas all the time. That's fucking funny. Everything leaves my life. The law of attraction. <laughs> I get that now. I get that spiritual theory. Well, everything you do mirrors your life. Obviously your art, because what else are you going to write about? Yourself. 
And people love it. People love to hear your fucking story. That's why people love Kanye. Because Kanye does whatever the fuck he wants. And he doesn't give a fucking shit about what anyone fucking says about him. And I don't either. That's why I love Kanye so much. How he's my favorite fucking artist. Because he is able to capture so many complicated emotions in just the beat. The amazing verses. Even the verses that are corny. You fucking love him because he means it. He means it. He's such a dad literally and figuratively. He was always a dad with no kids. Until he had kids, bro. It's fucking true. And that's why people like us with issues love him or fucking hate him so much why is this guy get to do whatever he wants and people love it they're pissed about it they are they are rationally or rationally fucking pissed off and it's so funny dude oh my fucking god holy shit dude that's such a good idea to do i'm fucking spitting right now so I want to be a rapper, a singer, songwriter, producer, feature it, fucking all of that. But I'd want something more, like I'd want to get into animation, video game making. But if I have the money, I could just do it. If I have money, I could just make the game I want to make. And people just play because it's me. Because it's fucking me. They'll support any fucking thing I do. That's why loyal fan bases are the greatest fucking, but can be really bad for you. They can make you lose money and fuck you up and like get you in the controversy and shit. People are just like, oh, I don't like it because of the community. Ugh, it's not the entire fucking community. But a lot of the community just happens to be like that because they become toxic. Toxic fucking communities. The toxic part. Turning it into what is now a toxic community. Because toxic communities... <sighs> I gotta chill. <laughs> I, just, I just heard myself out loud. Like, echoed in the street. talked about communities but like I love communities they're fucking awesome but I am scared of them because the bad parts and aspects give us a bad name bad rep I pretend I don't care but I care immensely bad rap I'm so skinny like fucking Asian in my chest makes me a fucking yeah I got stuff like a fucking ape just then with my bad man. Oh man. Oh man, I love getting high. But I feel like getting high is an excuse to leave and go do my own thing once I'm high. <laughs> I'm too lazy and confused. My girlfriend just texted me and I lost thought. But that's fine. I really can't be mad. I, lo I love this. I love being high. Because, in a way, it flares up my anxiety, but it gives me a lot of self-reflection on my life. <laughs> you know? Oh, great. My girlfriend's worthy. worried because I told my friend I'm freaking out and that I'm going for a walk. He's technically right, but I don't want her to worry about me more than she already does. She is amazing. She worries and loves me so fucking much. I feel like I take her for granted, taking time for myself, but I can do that, right? And she can still love me, even though I know she still will, because how could you not love me? She's crazy about me. A lot of people are crazy about me, the people that I run into. For no reason, they magnetize to me, because there's something about me, the way I do stuff. That's why people are so chill with me at work, or they're like trying to give me a lesson. But they, they never really get angry at me. They literally can't. You look like an asshole. <laughs> they think I'm so defenseless. <laughs> so 
What in the world are my bodyguards? I'll be fine. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I was about to say, you can't kill me. I'm a guy. <laughs> I'm a fucking joker laughing at that, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, no. I've got... I'm, dude. Oh, my God. I have a lot. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Do my life. It's gonna come out sporadically if I want to vlog. It just comes into my head. <laughs> Where am I? I just love documenting my entire life. It can give people comfort. It's literally like the Truman Show. We're like, yes, it is morally wrong to trap a human being in a fake world, but it's entertaining. It's comforting. Seeing an everyman succeed somehow but never really finding freedom because yeah they changed the channel after the Truman Show is over but he's a celebrity now the paparazzi will be all on his ass even when he's free he's trapped and that's horrifying like I could become comfort for other people and then I'll be in the Truman Show. I'll just be famous for no reason. Even if they say there is. Because he saved me. He saved me from suicide and stuff. And that makes me feel good. Because I understand what it's like to have depression. I'm in it. And I might be in it. For the rest of my life. You know what's funny? I don't care if I cry on camera. I'll worry about what other people say, but then I'll be like, oh, fuck him, I don't care about him. <laughs> and my girlfriend is still worriedly texting me. I feel bad, but I don't want to end the recording. So I'm just going to explain to her a long winded story and then get back to her. This leads into I don't have my wallet, I can't buy shit. That's the middle of town, pretty much. That's like town central. And then there's another central of the town, where obviously that's the most busiest. Most likely to get ran over by some fucking Californian who has a very, very high sense of authority. Because it's just what you get. They build you up. And then tear you the fuck down. That's why even people who are short are so confident and cocky in themselves. Californians. And you can't really hate it, can you? Because you relate to that and you're secretly rooting for them. <laughs> They're called out, they'll learn. We just need help. We need abstract help with our issues. Specific issues that only a specific person in life who will never meet will give us that. Hi! Someone's walking their dog. Enjoying the rain? You enjoying the rain? You enjoying the rain? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, she's in school. She's cute too. My girlfriend's gonna kill me over that. <laughs> I meant nothing by it, baby. She's very protective of me. And I'm secretly very protective of her, but only in specific instances where I get defensive. You don't want time for me, but I do want her. I want her so bad. And I don't know why, but at the same time I do. That's why I'm staying with her, because I love her. People might not think that she's beautiful, except other people who actually see the beauty in her. In her, not out of her. Her, you know, it, she's fucking beautiful. 
She's amazing looking on me. Up there. Her brain is fucking awesome. Oh, it's so different from mine. You're so similar. They have similarities. That's how people connect more. That's how they have these thoughts, but they can't say them out loud. So, you know, very big self-realization about life right now. But I'll probably still be doing this. Because where do I start? Where do I fucking start? I got first world problems. Yeah, this is a different kind of hell where you try to achieve your dreams, but you like the people that are surrendering to just living a normal, fun-filled life. That's what stoners are, man. But when we're alone, our max creativity comes out and we become amazing. We have... Even if the lyrics don't make sense, you can hear, you can hear it. You can hear that they've won something, like a kind of battle in their life. But then obviously everyone has hurdles all the fucking time. So they keep making music about their life. People are, you know, people fucking love it. Some people are like, ah, it sucks, it's cool, fuck it. But they keep listening anyway, because it is good fucking music. There's no bad song if there are listeners. And everyone's gonna listen to your song at least once. One listen. What did they think about the first ever listen to my music? Who, who's the first viewer? Was it my friend or was it just some rando on this fucking big blue green ball we call Earth? What did he think about it? Maybe it was my friend's friend because I know a lot of people in this town and we keep it local up in here. The other world is unfamiliar to us. They talk about Phoenix and shit. Really, are they talking about LA or fucking anything? Maybe Vegas, because people love Vegas. Go to Vegas, have fun, go home, that's it. Can't push your mortgage away. Come home with everything repossessed from your house. Happens all the fucking time. People are too cocky. They build some sort of God complex. We're better than those people. Most or if specific people. People that aren't you. People don't that agree with the same ideas and ideologies as you. We, we deal with the people that disagree. But we agree with the people we disagree with. Like... <laughs> I'm learning so much on this walk. I hope you are too. Or well, you probably clicked off. This guy's a fucking weirdo. And you know what? I don't care. I'm so sick and fucking tired of performing for people. And yet I'm doing it now. Wow. That's why I relate to Bo Burnham. He's someone like me who made it. Someone who want, and I'm someone who wants to make it in the way he does. I want to make art. I've always been fucking artsy. There was always something artsy about me. Something that people would say is gay, but they can't hate it. Maybe they just fall in love with me and I turn them gay. <laughs> it's happened. It's happened before. It's insane. And yet I didn't want it because I like pussy. Dick is cool in specific circumstances. Does that make me degenerate? I don't know, okay? I'm so tired of lying. Yeah, I watch porn, but other kinds of porn. And some is obviously controversial. No pedophilia, okay? I'm saying other stuff. Other stuff that is a crime to other people, but I not to, and then I move on, but then I not to, and then I keep going. I don't know. Maybe I'm a bit of a degenerate. I've been around degenerates. I've learned from these degenerates. And now I gotta deal with the teachings of these said degenerates. 
I'm not a furry though. That's I'm not fucking saying that. Don't say that in the comments. <laughs> I never buy a fur suit. Fuck no. Mm -mm. No. No. Ah. -uh. They kill me. They'd open me like a piñata. I don't want that. It's been raining all day. But yet I'm not afraid of them. I'm not afraid of the rain right now. I'm horrified. I'm not scared. I'm terrified. I'm terrified of life. So I find the littlest of happiness in it to try to find any meaning. Any want to go on oh man we're getting dark of this vlog because I considered suicide I considered it when everyone abandoned me and left me to my own devices and I am so self critical of myself I'm so fucking awful to myself I just can't relax but I'm chilling. <laughs> like if I puke after getting high, I just want to get back to the fun. I literally don't care. And I'm panicking that it is still happening even though I don't care. Just like, wait, hold on, I want to hang out with my friends. No, no, you're puking. You went too far trying to, uh, I don't know, smoke weed. But when I'm alone, I'm completely different. Obviously, with friends, I'm just trying to stay, stay present, or I'm going to go to another fucking galaxy or realm by myself and experience of their gravity. Because I swear, I'm flying in and out of that chair and sprung around. It's insane. Everything about that is insane, but it's so cool once you're sober because you're like, I hate it, but I want, I want to experience it again. I'm a bit of a sadist. That's why. I'm, that's why with a girl like her, the one that I'm dating, I'm gonna try my best to be dominant. So I'm just. I'm not gonna take shit from you. You're just a girl, and you're cool with it. So whatever. Don't think of that as rape. I'm just. This is my level of thing. If you wanna. If you want to stop this, then lobotomize me. I wonder if they tried to get me. How would I do? Would I be captured, but then I'm rescued? Or like, I'm really lucky. I might say I have bad luck, but I'm really lucky. And it's amazing. The amount of times I got the car in GTA before my friend, I got like seven new fucking cars from that wheel and millions of dollars in GTA Online just for logging in every month and just getting money. <laughs> just like my friend, <laughs> no money in GTA. I have like a million. <laughs> I just I logged in. I want more, so I'll get more. Love attraction, but not what, not the more that I think that I want. You know, like I want a specific type of more. I won't like it, but I'll deal with it. But I'll be more content with it. Holy shit! Oh my god! Yeah, get high. Do it alone. Relax. Go for a walk or something. Think. Because that's all you're going to be doing. Your brain is in charge here. It's just making you move. But not really losing your thought unless your brain overthinks and then forgets that thought. It's where you find a new level of intelligence. Either... You reach comedy by being stupid, like my friend Aiden. Like he's he's funny, but like he's stupid funny. Like he does stupid shit and says stupid shit, but it's so funny, and I love him. He's my fucking bro. He's someone you're gonna want to hang out with, which is why I love hanging out with him more than my other friends. 
But then again, my friend, my friend David, is fucking, he's awesome. He's my brother too. He's the big brother of us. <laughs> so we don't bond the same level as uh, <laughs> we're just two idiot kids. But we're intelligent when we need to be. Because his brain is fucking amazing too. I'm more attracted to his brain than him. So, yeah. I guess I uh, said I have, I have a crush on Aiden, but like with his brain, his way of thinking. I'm in love with what he thinks more than him. Like his physical body. He's just not attracted to me. He reminds me too much of me. And I've had some trauma with another friend in the past that I don't want to get into. I still haven't gotten over it. <laughs> I may never tell that story. Because I might, I might, I might go fucking crazy. I might. I'm, I might kill myself. I'm a secret bad bit. I keep secrets all the time. I never tell, because why would I do that? It's just in the vault. Unless other lies slip out. We just slip out lies randomly when we're talking. Usually when we're arguing or we want to get back at them, even though our brain's like, don't, 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 don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'd be good in a movie. This is a movie at this point. This is... Like, any TikToker with, like, a video longer than 30 seconds, they're fucking clicking off. TikTokers are all over YouTube. I mean, YouTube shorts. Fucking repost TikToks. Blah, blah, blah. Get the TikToks. They get on TikTok. And then people, you know, TikTok is amazing for people like me. But I'm terrified of how good it is for me. Like, it'll bring me happiness in terms of, like, media and constant videos and constant dopamine. But it won't make me whole unless I actually, like... I don't know, start doing my passions more. Start making more music. But having a girlfriend, that's on me. But I love her, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try my best to tiptoe the line between it because I I love her, I don't wanna hurt her. I mean, she's gonna watch this video and probably be profoundly sad. Be like, I'm crying about your video, baby. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I literally like, I don't know what I was talking about, but then my head was like, I know exactly what the fuck I was talking about. I know me too well to know. Because I could see it in my eyes. I could see it in everything. I'm such a compulsive liar. But it's to save some people. Because I, I'm too brutally honest. Sometimes. And then I just play it off. It's like, dude, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. No, I was drunk. I was high. I was, you know. It's like... Because I... Because, like, they think... They don't think about that. They're just like, oh, okay, yeah, you were high. It's like, they, they just, like, dismiss it and explain these things like that. It's, it's disgustingly convincing. <laughs> it sounds like I'm lying. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not lying. Then I, like, manipulate them into thinking I'm not lying. <sighs> yeah, well, my friends see this video, they're gonna be fucking confused. They're gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, you were hot. Or, I don't know, maybe they they hear some truths in what I'm saying. Because I may sound crazy, but if you hear enough crazy, you start to believe it. Like with Cthulhu in the ocean, they say there's images. But I'm too lazy to look it up, so I just believe them. I believe my friend Aiden, because we were talking about that. And, like, you know where, like, for some reason you just, like, mishear someone? You go, what? And then, then you say, like, the three what rule? Like, it's just like, yeah, mm -hmm. you just like, trying to fuck up, so I usually go, yes, yeah, like, mm. I go, damn, I go, damn, even though I was listening, I zone the fuck out, because of, uh, people with mental disabilities, as I said, I'm autistic, <laughs> and I said it, I came out as autistic, huh, uh, this game, you probably thought I did, it's like, is this guy fucking autistic, yeah, I'm autistic, all right. I am legally, governmentally, actually got tested. I was gonna say retard. <laughs> Autistic.
autistic people win, even though we think we're not. We, we've won. Hi. We've won, but we'll, we'll always want more. Because we hate how limited we feel we are. Because of how scary and confusing the world is. Specifically, I have Asperger's. I thought that would make it sound better. Asperger's. Yeah, I have that syndrome. Uh, people have it differently, you know. Some people are really the quiet. I'm the loud, goofy, but also kind of quiet guy. So that's where a lot of autists go. People with ADHD, you know, they usually hyperactive. People who love that energy come to the content. Because a lot of them end up having ADHD. <laughs> or ADD, or like, you know, other fucking letters that correspond to your brain activity. I got so many sypnosis. Sypnosis? Yeah, sypnosis. Fucking synapses. Synapses? There we go. Synapses. Uh, that just like firing off my brain. Making me focus on other shit. Than the shit that I'm supposed to be focusing on, but I'm still trying to focus on it, so I kind of get a little bit of what you were talking about, my friend. Do I fully understand? Because if they are explaining usually outside concepts of stuff I clearly don't do, which is construction and stuff, and I just kind of base that off of guessing or stuff that I just happen to find online that I could probably explain more. And they'd be like, oh shit, really? And it's like, what the fuck, man? You know? I, I provide more in context to whatever I can because it's cool. And I, I love people that know stuff. I love me. You know, I'm, I'm writing a song. I sound so good in my head, but I'm terrified. It's like I forgot how to produce. The shit I write, dude. Oh my god. It's so mind-numbingly sad. Even when I try, you know I'm just lying. I'm just so good at lying. I can't help it. I want people to like me. I'm a people pleaser, but to a certain extent. People that give me constant, constant gratification. Because we need that in our lives. We're going to go insane and kill ourselves. That's a morbid way of looking at it, but that's usually what happens down that road. We need other people that aren't us to help us. Like my dad said he's going to help me get a car. He needs to. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't I don't understand, hi, I don't understand whatever, I'm out of water, whatever the fuck, here I'll collect the rainwater. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with my life. I'm just going to try to do it. That's what I'm doing, I'm trying. I got my fucking nose on it finally at 19. So, yeah, wow, look at me. Look at me, making what people get when they're young, when they're fucking 15 and 16, or maybe even younger. It's like, wow, look at you. Why should we root for you? And then other people are just like, nice job, bro. Because they relate to how hard it is to be what is considered a normal human fucking being. We're just trying. We're doing our best. And if it looks like we're not, we truly, truly are. It's profoundly sad human existence, but it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I just imagine like a song where it goes when I said that. Like I gotta make music. I got too much to say. Even when I think I'm not saying everything, I'm saying everything. Even if I half ass it. You're like, you can do better. And he can't. And he will when he wants to. Sometimes people just like to make mid, dude. It's like, why do I got... It's stressful making the greatest fucking music you will ever hear. That comes at in a specific moment in your goddamn life. That gives you new profound emotions. After a mental fucking breakdown. That's why the music that is more honest and beautiful and experimental compared to the fucking stuff that is supposed to be like dribbled on the radio and in fucking nightclubs and shit that people fucking love that's why 
Every artist, if they keep going, will have a magnum fucking opus. Just like, this is better than all their albums. Boom. Magnum opus. And if they can find a way to break that, and it's like, wait, no, this is his magnum opus. Like, you know with To Pimp a Butterfly, Kendrick Lamar's album, it is insane. The double entendres, the jokes, the fucking lines make you go, mm, because it's so true, because it taps so much into how manipulative and evil the world can fucking be. But we still try to find light in that and get through our trauma and live. Or the ones that didn't make it, that's it. They could have kept living and made the greatest fucking music you thought you would ever hear. But then somehow, someone else breaks through. Over and over and over in different ways, different ideologies. You still think about it. And if you're mad about it, it's because it hit you in a certain way, in a bad way. It's like, this is awful. Mixing is terrible. Production is stupid. It needs to be better. It's like, these are empty assumptions. It's like, it's absolutely unlistenable. Someone is listening to that because they love how awful it is. And it probably brings some comfort. Or it's like an inside joke or something. Because it's funny. I listen to unlistenable shit, but... I notice that it's doing something different. It's doing what it's just it's remarkable and it's terrible this. You know? The terrible music is where we're our most cocky and desperate. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's a shot in the fucking dark. You want to keep making money. You want to keep making music. You want to do all the stuff you want to keep doing. But people have already stopped paying attention to you. Except for the people that come back and say, Yo, 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 this is my shit, bro. This is fucking dope, dude. Love this shit, bro. I don't know. That was not a bad accent. I might never be able to replicate that ever again. Is that a New Yorker? You fucking New Yorker. <laughs> you fucking... Are you fucking New Yorker, uh huh? Like, dude, if I, if I were to ever live in New York, that's what my accent would become, dude. Like, hey, fuck you. Fuck you, Tony. Fuck you, Jibalaya. You are a bitch of the East. The East is side of town. The East is side of town. Dude, where am I going? Dude, I'm lost. <laughs> but don't worry. I memorized all the roads, or this will be a longer vlog. I can hear my t I can hear myself talk forever. Call that egotistical, but I love it. We love hearing ourselves talk, don't we? Or we hate it. No one is indifferent to how they sound. They either love it or they hate it. Or they are given a new perspective and angle, and maybe they keep at it. It's like I make music for the ones that, you know, love it. Haters are just like, oh, okay, this, this guy doesn't get it, you know? And that's okay, right? Yeah, that's okay. But in their head, they're probably like, mm, kind of salty about this. <laughs> what opinions are. That's what different music is. Like, mm, difficult listen, bad mixing, mm, mm, production. Because maybe you love the slop that music turns out. Anything that represents new production, new difficult lyrics, scares you. It kind of scares me. Because I, doesn't matter what song, I know when it hits. Because I always have my finger on like the add the playlist button when I'm hearing them. It's like. And I click it. I had to watch it. Oh man, I'm so wet like this pussy. This pussy. Who's pussy? Hi.
Hope I don't get shot. <clears throat> hey, how you doing? Yeah. Enjoying the rain? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So enjoying the rain. <laughs> Such a ditch. <laughs> this is my old elementary school. I mean, uh, pre K. Uh, Kindergarten, uh, preschool, right there. Kindergarten in there. First grade, second grade. I wasn't the best student here. I don't know, I'm not gonna show this sign, I'm sorry. I don't want this, I don't want this place to get docked because of me. Because people, you know, I don't know, I think it'll be funny. Some people got twisted sense of humor. And I kind of love it in a way. You know, it's always funny what happens to someone else, right? Oh my god, I remember being dropped off here. Yeah, my mom would drive me. And it'd be dope. Like, I had fun here. Oh my god, I still have such a vivid memory. It's like a dream. And it's like my brain is an AI trying to recreate that memory. But it's... It's static. It's kind of blurry. But it did happen. You have that pillow you made as a kid here. Oh, no. Don't. shouldn't be here. I gotta save them all. Oh my god. Oh my Oh my fucking god. It's like that Max Mofo vlog. I thought they were hydrant. Sure so much good. They just randomly went to their old school. And then, oh my god. Wait, did I make one of these? It's not mine. Oh my fucking god, that's mine. I fucking made this as a kid. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. I made that. That's me. What the fuck? That's me. 2004. God. What the fuck? That's me. I made the heart. I don't know how I remember that. Like, when I look at these, like, that's not it. But that. That heart right there. Is it? I remember I ran over a kid with a big wheel here once. <laughs> Jeremiah has molded my humor in a more absurdist way than the self-deprecating, evil, ignorant humor I was using before. He makes you think. Even if you're laughing at him, he makes you think. You make it a new way. You love his humor. You tell his jokes, references, and people... Most people won't get it, or they'll just laugh at it because of his absurdity. But like, once you find another person who is like you, fuck. <sighs> it fulfills you. I feel fulfilled. That's why my friends are saying I used to be so scared, but now I'm more outgoing. I try to be. She she changes me. She makes me more confident. She makes me want to do better. God, I love her so much. She's probably crying at this point watching this video. She's so adorable. I love her. Is she a looker? God, she is. But to others, she might be a looker. This is me. 
not saying there are beautiful there aren't beautiful women with brains. Some people are lucky, more lucky at getting girls that are prettier than I am. I'm not settling for less. I'm settling for what I think is the best. Is it the best? Probably not that is, but to me. I said I wasn't going to break her heart, so I won't. But I hope she doesn't think of it like I'm doing it because I'm worried about you doing something. She's unpredictable. and She said she wouldn't eat and stuff if she broke up with me. Is that manipulative? I don't know. It doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> Ugh. I remember to climb a fence out. <sighs> uh, am I gonna get arrested on this vlog? That'd be kind of funny, but my parents and shit will be furious, but that'd be fine. Who knows? Maybe I'd become a news story. Maybe I'd get famous today. I was like, why'd you do that? Oh, you know, I got high and blah, blah, blah. Then I get famous, and then once I'm done with, you know, done with that, I go do my own thing. And it can bring more fulfillment than that ever did. It's like, wow. You just kind of, you fall into your passions. You do them, you don't do them. That's it. Do it or don't. That's it. Because even when you think you're not doing it, you're still doing it. You're trying. You're trying so hard. But nothing seems to work. Because you haven't hit that point in your life where you can finally make what you want. Even if it's mid, it's still a dream that all of us have. Even people like randomly get famous off of music as a joke, and so they do that instead of the other stuff. It's like, you guys love the music, let's keep the music going. Yeah. Like these videos? Yeah, all I'm trying new stuff. Some people obviously will hate it, but other people will be like, yo, this is new and interesting. Wow, cool. Thanks, bro. This is fucking funny, dude. Dude, don't worry about the views and stuff. Everything's fine. We worry so fucking much about the views. A lot of comedians like me. I am a comedian. I fucking am. It just is what I am. But I'm scared of making a career off of it. Like doing stand-up and stuff and shows. You could prove me wrong. I, I, I say I want to do it, but I never will. Because <laughs> of how much I doubt myself. I don't mean to. I know what I'm capable of, but a part of me just doesn't think so. Sorry, I'm looking at the playground. Don't go in the playground. Don't go in the playground. Don't go in the playground. I'm going to go in the playground. Stop it. Stop it. Get away from the playground. God fucking damn it. I'm such a mischievous little kid. But they're going to... They say I'm an adult now. God, this is going to be hilarious. Oh, man. These may sound like mad ramblings, but or people will be like... Yo, shut the fuck up. Let him spit. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like, hold up. Let him, let him cook. <laughs> it's just like, dude, does, it's like when people are playing a porn and shit on Twitter. It's so funny. It's so disgusting and fucked up, but it's so funny. It's like, bro. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's getting a little mischievous. What the fuck? I could have died. Okay. There's a wait, there's basketball court. Like, oh, oh, no going back now. Oh god. When I'm high, I feel no fear. I feel the adrenaline. This is bad. It's gonna be such a good vlog though.
actually arrested. You're so long, dude. I would like to put them in parts, but that'd be more work. Let's watch the full thing. I dare you. Drop a like. If you're watching this far. Y'all got TikTok friends. I get it. Or y'all don't care. It's fine. It doesn't matter anyway, because I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it because it's funnier. <laughs> Whatever is funny to me, I'll do. <laughs> Even if it means hurting people. Swing, let's get my ass back. Oh, dude, they're so low. Look at that. Trouble, baby. That's what I look. Yeah. There's a dude doing donuts. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. This school is fucking cool, bro. God, I want to be a kid so bad, but I can still be an adult while being a kid. We always find loopholes. Even if we think we're not happy with it, we keep doing it because we're happy and we keep on living. If we keep on living, we will find some profound way of finding happiness, I feel. But it's not until you're high or you actually take like stuff that will, you know, rearrange your brain's thinking and make you think these things. It's that. You ever notice how, like, I hear myself rant and I stop because I think I sound silly, but then I want to finish my thought because I want to get the fucking thought out because even if it's something I don't want to hear, I'm going to fucking hear it anyway because I don't give a shit about what the fuck anyone thinks about me or says. Why am I so bad? See, this is the point where I feel like an idiot. I'm still here. <laughs> this is worth it. So yeah. This is... This is my school. Where I grew up in. Hey, look, check it out. Oh, wheel. I wonder if they changed out the equipment. Maybe it's older than me. Or it's new, I don't know. Oh yeah, that was there a rock climb there? No, that was a giant ass sled, I remember. I missed that sled. That sled was right here at this dirt. It was awesome. I get that people give it more parts for more views, but the full thing deserves to be heard. If I don't diss long movies. I always have something to say, even if it's something stupid. Even if it's just a means of making money, they're saying something. And maybe once you realize that says a lot more about themselves than you. Whoa, my ass is wet. Make that pussy wet. We got sand all over me. While well, we're going down this slide. Pretty exciting stuff, huh? Never thought I'd fucking climb into my old school, but here we are. Doing it. Doing it. Doing it wonderfully. If we could do something wrong, do it right. Do not take the advice I'm saying right now. Either because it's going to sound crazy, or it'll enable bad behavior. Because I'm not supposed to be technically doing this because of legal stuff. Oh! So 
from here. <laughs> I jumped over. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> it's fucking cool. Oh man. Let's see how I look with my hoodie on. I look like a fucking TikTok. TikTok. I despise those people. Californians. They have such as I said, they have such a high sense of superiority. That's why they get reality shows. They're such drama queens. You can milk out a season and make the money and then leave. If they do, they barely last the season. Because their lives are irrelevant. In the grand scheme of things, they already won. Now you watch them win. And for someone like me, who isn't winning, I get pretty pissed. So yeah. I'm not winning in the ways I want to win. I'm winning, but like it's other people who feel more like they're winning, but I have something that they don't, so they obsess over that. And they want what I got, but they're happy with what they got. They try, but ultimately they're themselves. Someone who is more successful. Like that's why people don't like Jaden. I like Jaden, even though what I said is a complete contradiction of my statement. But I don't know. I like his beats. He's got good beats. He's got the millionaire cock dad. <laughs> Alright, I'm like. That was the that was the school. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm kind of fast. Look how fast I'm going. I'm jogging, by the way. <laughs> I'm fucking co-worker Tom at work. Uh, one day, I don't know, I remember. What he fucking said. He said, bro, so fucking fast. It's like, bro, you're so fucking fast. Tom's cool. He's a crypto. He's from the ghetto of Phoenix. Hope I didn't snitch on him. Uh, sorry, bro. Um, if you're watching this, uh, I didn't say your last name, so like, relax, yeah. Relax. Fuck, fucking exploded with anger. Ah. Not my fault. Don't do that. That's like, what German does. He does something, he's like, don't do that. <laughs> Why did I say that? <laughs> Fucking German. Love that kid. God damn. He's successful. But like, he deserves it. He completely deserves it. He's so funny and entertaining. To so many people. You can't hate him or you look like a jerk. Except other people that hate him validate you're hating more. It probably makes you hate him. Or, once you actually give him a chance, you might like him. But no, it's like, that shit's stupid, man. This is why I'm scared of showing my friends Germa. I like talking about Germa, because he's like, he's my thing, right? Like, they won't understand. They'll be judgmental. They'll judge me based on my tastes. It's like, bro, bro, you got, like, you fucking idiot, bro. And then, like, obviously later, it's like, damn, you're smart. It's like, no shit, bro. I'm just stupid for the jokes. I am very intelligent in ways not yet my friend is calling me. Fuck. Is it still recording? Yes.